my aha I love my ego I love my ego my ego is great my ego is like my house my personal identity my vehicle why would I like to dissolve destroy annihilate hate my ego come on give me a break when somebody comes into my life and says that's just your ego speaking very often when when somebody says something like that to me I go like yes so what is the problem what is the problem with my ego there is no problem look everything my this is me this is my body this is my mind my thoughts my conditioning my my training my house the problem with ego is not ego by itself is when the ego is disconnected from the greater reality when all you have is your ego that's a problem but the ego by itself is not the problem the identification with the ego, the full, uh, you know, focus of your life, energy, efforts into building up a very strong ego that isolates itself from the rest of the world. That's the problem. It's how you use it. It's not the ego by itself. The ego is great. I love my ego. You know, you need, you need a vehicle. You need a personal vehicle. You don't function on this planet without a personal vehicle. The illusion that you can withdraw yourself from life and be there in a transcendental space simply existing in pure meditation that's very beautiful if you can move to the Himalayas and hide in a cave for the rest of your life but having to function in, in society in, in big cities how do you function without an ego how do you function without your um, you know your tools your personal identity you need that it's your vehicle and so the problem with the ego is not the ego by itself. The problem is the ego which is disconnected from the rest. When it's everything, when you think that this is it. No, it's not it. You have your universal identity. You have your godlike nature. You have your power. You have your ability to be connected to the rest of the world, the planet, humankind, the universe, to be in this state of unity. This is what you don't want to forget. But when your ego is speaking, you know, when you say, well, these are my needs as a human being, there's nothing wrong with that. You have needs. You want good food. You want good people around you. You want to live in fantastic places. You want a nice personal space. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, so the whole Vedanta philosophy, you know, when you go to satsangs and you sit down and you go like, wow, this is your ego. The problem is not the ego, it's the identification with it when you think that this is all there is. But yeah, I've got a physical body. This is part of my ego. It's part of my personal identity. And so stepping in and saying, well, there is that and then there is all the rest. You know, this is where it becomes interesting. Keep that in mind. You know, if somebody comes to you and says, it's just your ego speaking, it is just your ego speaking. This is where the problem is, because it's just that. But if your, my ego is speaking, it's speaking right now. Who do you think is voicing it? It's, it's the filter of my conditioning, the filter of my life. I've been trained to do that. What got trained? What do you see right now? This is an expression of me. This is a pers a, a, an expression of a personality as much as the, the expression of a spirit. I am channeling, yeah, but I'm channeling this to a vehicle, through a vehicle, which is the result of my life. I was born at a certain time. I have a certain identity. I have a certain, you know, nationality. I have a certain life. I woke up this morning. I did certain things. I trained my body to look good. And I give myself some necklaces and put some paint on my body. <laughs> it's still an ego. It's still a personality. It's not like I'm a, I'm a pure channel of light. When somebody comes to me and says, it's just your ego speaking, my answer usually it's like and who is talking to me right now this is like the godlike incarnation of some form of uh, formless being no it's like who is talking to me right now is somebody who enters into rivalry with me who enters into competitive um you know discussion with me who is starting to argue with me who is arguing with me on the other side there when somebody goes like yeah it's just your ego speaking uh, wow you know who is arguing with me? It's another ego. It's ego to ego, relating to ego. And when you go like, yeah, my ego has dissolved. I am now this pure spirit. Who is talking? Who is proud of that? <laughs> it's still the ego. Man, if we can you know, go beyond this discussion and start seeing, seeing things for what they are, but the thing that we have to do is kind of accept the fact that we have an ego. There is nothing wrong. 
what's wrong or what's uh, the problem is when it's all there is, when the ego is disconnected. You know, you have a house, the house, there is nothing wrong with the house. The problem is when the house is not connected, when you don't have water, when you don't have internet, when you are, you know, when you are cut off, when you don't have electricity, this is the moment where you get isolated and locked in within the limits of, of, of that ego. But the ego is fine, you know. So this is what I say, I love my ego. I love it. Why not? I love who I am. I love my personality. I love my being. I love my needs. I love what I eat. I love what I do. Yeah, keep that in mind. Love your ego. There's nothing wrong with it. I love you. And I love your ego, or whatever you are voicing and expressing as an identity on this planet. I love you. <laughs>